Okay. So you can look at that. Here are the assignments. This is really what you want to know. Gonna tweet. Once a tweet a week. So eight weeks, eight tweets. And Twitter, I think they're sort of changing this, I heard. But only 140 characters, so I'm going to try to ask you to capture some things in 140 characters about the class. I'll say more about that later. Writing to learn reflections on Tumblr. You will be blogging. Well, this is not a blogging class. It's more of a reflection type of thing. Um, and so eight of those, one per week, to sort of illustrate that you've been thinking about some things and everything like that. These are sort of the ways that I would find that you grow. Um, threads, weekly threads on KC. So if you've ever had so those threads, those forums, so we'll be doing that as well. So once a week, eight. Eight tweets, eight blogs, eight threads, two papers, brief papers. One paper that critiques uh, and evaluates a 30 second television or otherwise commercial. And then one paper evaluating and, and everything like that. Um, that's vague, isn't it? Um, as some sort of South Carolina tourist attraction and, and the organization's messages uh, to attract tourists. Um, then you have the grading scale there. Uh, and by the way, I don't have all the assignments on KC yet. I'll give you a lot more detail. All this stuff in the syllabus is just for us spelling it out. Uh, they say interpreting your grades, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so basically, uh, writing to learn through tweeting is it's more of a reflective type of thing. So this is not helping you learn to write. It's, it's writing to reflect. And so what I'm going to ask you to do, again, you need to get a, a Twitter account. Um, I got the main page right here on the internet um, on your uh, syllabus and also on KC. Uh, it's really, really easy. Um, but basically, you just have to do it. If you do it each week, you get full credit because it's just sort of reflecting on stuff. Um, if and I do have something here that you don't want to do it, but you yeah, it's easy. You gotta and if you don't, you gotta be tech savvy in today's media age. Get out there and tweet. It's neat to tweet. Um, so, and you can uh, say something about uh, persuasion, you can uh, do, uh, I'll have also some ideas about strategies for tweeting later on, but in any case, uh, you can retweet some things that has something to do with persuasion, you could, uh, you could do links to stories about persuasion, um, but anything that has to do with persuasion, and it should be grammatically correct, don't do anything, even if it's small. There's, there's my multi. Is this going to work? Ooh, look at that. I'm like a cinnamon photographer. Oh, you can't see Ben. He's just hiding behind books. A cinnamon photographer. That's pretty funny. Okay. That's so sweet. Okay. So basically, tweeting once a week. Pretty easy. If you do it, you get full credit. If you don't, you don't. Tumblr. I love to tumble. I'll tumble. Um, yeah. Um, but basically, uh, it's not a blogging class, but this is, again, not to help you learn how to write, but to reflect on stuff. And so I have the link here. It's really easy to, I have like, five, six, seven different blogs. I already put my blog up. Uh, it's really easy to, uh, to figure out. Um, and you should have a, a specific blog for this class. So don't just you know, have a, one blog where you talk about other stuff. You should create, and you can have, again, multiple blogs on one Tumblr account. And so create a particular blog for this. You can call it Persuasion, you can, whatever. Mine's called Persuasion, I think. I have to go back and look at it. And again, my idea is that both for the Twitter that you all, and this is one of the assignments, and one of the things that you need to do this week is get that you know, uh, Twitter account, email me the link, because I want to put all of these things on KC so we can follow one another and engage each other that way, creating our virtual classroom. Same thing with Tumblr, email me the, uh, the page 
and then I'll put it on Casey. We can follow one another and everything like that. Unless you have a big, huge problem with that, and just email me and let me know if it's against your religion or something like that. Um, but basically, uh, and it will take me maybe 10 to 15 minutes to get this stuff for the Tumblr and get it all started. It's really easy. So one blog a week. Um, and here is a place where you can start thinking about your papers or anything that has to do with persuasion. But I think you know, starting drafts and everything like that would be a really good way to use the blogs or reflecting on um, sort of journaling um, uh, your understandings of, of course material or anything like that. Um, one of the things, and you need eight of them, so one per week, um, one of the things I say here is that they should be at least three thick, rich, descriptive paragraphs. Uh, and and you know, other people might see this as well, because they're, they're, the blogs are public. Uh, and so you want to educate um, the audience about persuasion in a sense. So it's like my persuasion blog. I'm a blogger. I am blog about persuasion. I'm teaching people right on up. Uh, and so um, I would hope that it would be all grammatically correct and everything like that. Um, but uh, I'm not going to check that too closely. Um, but basically, again, you get the points if you do it. But you, it needs to be like a three paragraph something or other. You can't like do one sentence. Say, oh, there's my blog. It's just real cut and paste what you did with, with uh, Twitter. That's, that's not going to That's not going to happen. Okay, so that's the second one, eight of them. Threads of discussions, eight. I will give you a forum, a specific thing that I want you to respond to, and then you need to respond to it. And I would expect you here to respond uh, to respond to me once a week, but also respond to someone else once a week. So you will have 16, at least 16 responses over the course of our eight weeks. All right. There's the Hardee's commercial stuff. That's straight cut and paste from the Hardee's commercial. Yeah. Um, so I say a little bit more about the visual advertising paper. So basically, and I'll say much more about this later, but you might want to start this today. I mean, you know, go get your book, get do, you do your tweet, get a Twitter account, get a Tumblr blog. Uh, I haven't put the first thread up yet, but I will soon, probably tonight. Um, but basically, you need to pick a commercial, and you are going to be, and it needs to be from 2016, so the current 32nd, if you want it to be longer, that's fine, but 32nd, which is the norm, commercial, something that's on TV. Um, so, uh, and I don't care what it is, it could be local, it could be national, it could be whatever. Um, and so you're going to look and, and, and talk about, or not talk, you're going to write about uh, what's going on in this particular commercial. Um, so, I, by the way, I say no nonprofits here. Something that's more of a, a, a brand, like a Hardee's or a McDonald's or a, or a, a medicine, uh, yeah, the, the, all the medicine commercials and all that type of stuff. Uh, somebody could do a Viagra commercial. God, that'd be, that would be uplifting. Um, but in any case, um, you got a lot of stuff that you can do here. So basically, I give you an idea for how to uh, const construct your paper. Contextual information, uh, the strategic report of what you think they're trying to do, uh, analysis of what they're doing, always tying it to course material. Um, and then what is the audience being asked to do? Uh, do they want a new attitude reinforced car commercials, right? What do car commercials sell? A car? Yeah, but also a lifestyle. Um, and the ethical attentions and the final judgment, render a verdict whether you think this is uh, an effective persuasive message or not so effective in light of the target audience. Again, I'll put more information out to this, but basically you're just analyzing a 30 second spot all the persuasive aspects of it and whether that stuff is effective or not in light of course material. Again, I'll have a lot more information later on. It will be an essay type of, of essay. It needs to be well written the, the, and all that type of stuff, but it's not a research type of, of um, just analytical, uh, not research type of paper. That is, you don't have to have a lit review or anything like that. Um, the only thing that you probably will be referencing is the commercial and the book and the theories in the book. Mm. 
beach. Then you're going to have a second paper that's due toward the end of the semester on uh, the, the tourism uh, the tourism project. And they need to be a little bit longer than five pages. That's all cool. But, um, but basically, and I'll give you the link to if you wanted to go and look at all the different things out there, but maybe pick something that you're already familiar with, maybe someplace that you want to go if you want to actually go. Um, but what you're looking at are like web pages or all the various aspects of, of their media campaign when they're, they're then trying to get people to come to their attraction. And so I also give you a way to organize this particular paper, what to do in the introduction. And one of the things that I say here is that it would be really cool to contact the folks and say, hey, I'm doing a paper on this and looking at your stuff. You know, well, well, why do you have these images up and these slogans? I mean, do they have a slogan? Because you do need to create a slogan. Um, how have they tried to attract folks in the past, so forth and so on. Evaluate what they're doing. Um, look at the target audience. We'll talk about vows later. It's answer values, attitudes, and lifestyles. Uh, it's sort of a demographic. We'll move beyond demographic type of, of analysis. What's their media presence? If they had ads on television or the newspapers or the new media, do they have their own websites, uh, Twitter pages, all or, or whatever? What are their messaging? Do they have slogans or a brand or anything like that? We're going to talk a lot about branding uh, in this class. Um, do they use visual cues? Uh, you know, and then your own strategy. So this is where you're going to say, "Hey, I think they could do better this with media. This is how they can." And I also want you to sort of figure out how they could try to reach a different target audience, offer different uh, messaging. So you're going to come up with a new slogan for this place, Myrtle Beach. Well, I don't know what their slogan is now, but surely you can come up with something better. Um, and then one thing I also want you to do and you could, is, is create, and this is part of the paper, but also separate from the paper, um, is create some sort of thing, um, some sort of product. Uh, for this site, uh, for this tourist site, whether it be sort of a mock-up of a uh, brochure or a new billboard uh, that you'd want to put on I-26 or something like that, or 77, whatever, like, you know, or, or while you're sitting in traffic, and everybody can see, oh, whatever. So, um, so I'll take you. I'll let you uh, look at that stuff. And again, this is just introducing you to the uh, the assignment. I'll give you a lot more information, obviously. Uh, on KC. So again, to summarize, so you know what you're going to be doing throughout the summer, tweeting, a tweet a week, eight tweets, blogging, a blog a week, eight blogs, about three paragraphs each, threading, one responding to me and the, the topic that I create, and one responding to how somebody else responded. So 16 over the course of the eight weeks. A paper on a commercial. And then a paper on the media strategies of a specific tourist site. In, it could be a museum, it could be a whatever. In South Carolina. Or, you know, I, I, I'll let you do Carowinds, since you know half of it's in South Carolina. I think I've never been to Carowinds. Okay, so basically that's it. So no exams, no quizzes, no online quizzes, no online exams. Because I hate that crap. So, but hopefully all this stuff will help you learn all the material. Other policies. Most of this is not relevant, but you know, sick kids policy. You can't have sick kids at home and watch my videos. I don't care. Um, but if something happens, uh, if, uh, if, if the world is, if, if is taken over by uh, alien lizards, um, or, or earthly lizards, um, and, and just check your email, but you know, if, well, you know, sometimes things happen and the email doesn't work, that, that's going to suck, but you know, we'll, we'll deal with it. Um, but if something happens, I will email you and tell you what to do. Makeup work, most of this is asynchronous, right? But ideally, I don't want you to get way behind. 
And so in the schedule, I have you doing specific things every week, and I have a certain due date for the first paper, a certain due date for the second paper. 